Hi, great people. You are welcome back to the Sick Court Fashion House channel. My name is Fola. We appreciate as many that has been making our channel to grow by subscribing. And if you are yet to subscribe, do well to subscribe today. Thank you. You can see how this uh, uh, corset, I mean draped corset look, uh, looks beautiful. This is what we'll be learning today. So let's go. And to make a uh, draped uh, corset, I'll be needing this black cup of like a 36, size 36. I need this uh, regular bone for the bony. I need this uh, underwire. And this is the material, the crepe material I'll be using. I need like uh, just one yard of this fabric. Chamus material is using the thumbnail, but I'll be using this crepe material for this video. And uh, this is our body's pattern. And we have a length of uh, 17 inches here from the shoulder length to the waist. And uh, this is the boss. This is the boss uh, point nine inches, and uh, this is the under boss. This is the waist half length. So this is the cup we'll be using. So first thing we have to do is to draw the center line. I mean the front, center front. We mark half an inch. We mark it here, we get it down here, then we connect it. We connect it. Having done that, we now place our cup. We place our cup slightly like this. The cup is not, a, it's not straight. It's better you slant it a bit. So now, as we have placed our cup now, we are going to get the, the under bust. We are going to get it on the cup. And to achieve that, we place our tape measure on the from the shoulder length. Then we place it across the uh, cup, the bra cup, just like this to get the underbust because by the time you place your cup the underbust is already changed so you place it to get your original i mean that underbust on your cup and you know the underbust we are working with is 13 inches so we place our tape to get the 13 inches just like this this is where we get the 13 inches now so we mark it so we now place our cup well, even to draw, I mean, to draw the dotted line, just like this. Across, I mean, under the cup. Yes, this is it. So now we mark where our cup is on this line. We mark it. So we rule it. So this is the the depth of our depth of our neckline. So now for this cup. That we have drawn now we are going to mark quarter of an inch we are going to mark it round that will serve as a seam allowance you know when you see this cup you can see that we are having quarter of an inch at the edge here that we used to sew it so we are going to give that allowance on this cup before we cut it out so we mark that quarter go around. So this one now uh, is the original line we are going to cut out by the time we want to cut it out. 
that will serve as a seam allowance. So this is what we are going to cut out. So now we now get the horizontal measurements now. And the bust we are working with is a the box bust we are working with is 36. When you divide 36 by 4, it gives us 9. So you measure 9. Yeah. 9 inches. 2 inches. Uh, allowance then the waist the waist we are working with is a uh, 28 28 divided by 8 well, because we are going to get our you know our darts so you can do it in two ways you can divide your 28 by 8 when you divide your 28 by 8 it, it gives us a 3.5 so you measure 3.5 you measure 3.5 here. Yeah. You get your darts of one inch. You measure that 3.5 again. Then seam allowance of uh, two inches. So now you now connect it. So, but before I connect it, another thing you can do. I mean, the second method you can use to get your waist is that you get your bust pan. The bust pan we are working with is a four. So you measure four here. You measure four inches here. So after measuring that uh, four inches, so you can see that that four inches as it, it falls on the center of the dart. So you draw the line. You draw the straight line. You get that four inches here too. So you can see that we get our four inches at the, you know, under that uh, cup. That then you you connect it. You connect it with a straight line. So having done that, you now come to this side by half. Then come to the left by half. Come to the right by half. So we end up. In, in the same uh, in the same track so for that now to get your waist if you use that method of getting your bust span first the next thing you have to do is to divide your waist by four when you divide the 28 by four it gives you seven so you get your seven yeah you mark it then one inch that you have here you replace it it gets a then you get your seam allowance of a uh, two inches so we arrive at the same so we arrive at the same point so then you connect the bust to the waist so that's it so here now you now link this to this end just the way it's straight here where we have our you know our seam allowance then from here you can use your any of your cuff just to connect it just like this yes so then I connect my dots so this is the end of our front cut so the next thing I do is to cut it out. Now, this is a uh, pattern drafting for the um, drape the uh, drape corset. Now, this is it. It's going to this cup will be attached to this. This like this. This is the half inch. I mean quarter inch that we use our joints. That's where I place it on. This is it. So let's just uh, go ahead and draw the back before we move on to the.
draping proper. Now to achieve the back cut for our corsets, all we need to do is to first of all get the zipper allowance of one inch. I'm using just one, just an inch for the zipper allowance for this video. So I rule it. Then I place the pattern draft for the front. I place it on it. That is after the one inch zipper allowance. This way. You ensure that the ammo is aligned. So this is it. So you place it on it. Then you now get how low you want your the back of your corset to look. So, so 17 inches is the the half length that we are stopping this uh, project. 17 inches. So now I want my back to come down like a nine or nine and a half. Let me make it nine and a half. I mark the nine and a half. So from this, then I let this side be the same. Let me use my ruler. So now this is nine inches where I want my. I mean, this is the way I want my back to be low. So the next thing is to connect from here. I connect slightly to this end so as to give the back of my corset, I corset a design. I want it to be stylish at the back. Yes. So, before I cut out, I just get my boss pan, which is a four inches. So that is to get my that. I mark four inches. Uh, that is after the zipper allowance. I get the four inches this way. I get it A. I connect. Then I come to this side, to the left and right with half of an inch. Half an inch to this side. Half an inch to this side. Then I connect it to the top. So. This my dart now. You just hold it. So before I cut, let me shape my back. I come out from this line with cutter of an inch. Then I connect it up. So it has to. You don't take it to this end because when you measure your 17 inches just this way, the mark will be somewhere here. So that's the that's the point that you place your ruler from this side. That is where you uh, from the beginning of that your 17 inches. So, Then I cut it out. I notch. I notch this uh, that just like. This is the back cut of our corset. So the next thing I will do now is to use this pattern to cut out the fabric both the lining and the fabric now to cover our bra cup the first thing i'm going to do is to get the lining of the cup of the bra cup first i mean the one that will be inside a so and to achieve that you measure what we are you are having here from this side to this side i'm having eight inches so what i will do is just to cut out nine by nine 
just to the um, silver side. So I cut out nine inches by nine inches. I cut two out. So the next thing to do is to now fold it. I want to fold it into two. So I'm cutting for the, I mean, I'm cutting the lining for the two cups. So I fold it into two. I get the midpoint of this nine inches. The midpoint of nine inches is a 4.5. I get my 4.5 here. I get it here also. I connect it together. Then the next thing I'm to do is to come up here with one inch. I come down with one inch. Then I use my French cuff to connect it. Just like this. Connect it like so. Then I cut it out. So the next thing to do is to go and join this uh, piece together, the center, where I cut out the orange. I join this. Let me secure it with pen. Let me just join it with oven. Now, I've cut out my fabric. This is the... I cut it on fold. Then I cut out the lining. I use the same fabric to do the lining. So I've done the same for the back cut. Cut. I cut it to two. So, and the, this is the the bra cover. I mean the cup uh, cover. I've joined it. I've joined it at the center with half an inch, and I've uh, opened it. I notch it, open it, and iron it very well. So this is the way it's going to be placed in our cup. Then we pin it. But before we pin it, we want to do the draping. Before we pin it. So to achieve our draping now, because we don't need to drape the, the lining. I mean, the one that is going to be inside. The lining is, is not... Um, there is no need to drape it. So achieve our, I mean, the drape part of our corset now. So, all we need to do is to, this is the wrong, I mean, right side of the fabric. This is the cup. So, from the, this is the center front of our cup. So, from the center front, you just measure like four inches from the center front. You mark it. This is where our draping will start and come up. We are going, the, our draping is going to be facing up. So you now place your your cup under the, you know, you use your fabric to cover your cup. Then you begin to drape this way. This is the this is the four inches that I mark on the cup. So you take note of it. So that's where your draping will start.
So the next thing is to start uh, holding it firm. I mean, on, on your cup or your black cup with your office pen. Here we have. So the next thing you do is to go and stitch this area. You stitch everything down with just like a less than quarter. You stitch it down with on your machine before you remove your office pin. Now I've gone ahead and run a stitch on the edges of this the of the core now with our draping. So the next thing I'm to do now is to cut out all these uh, excess. So, and when you are doing that, ensure that you do that gently. Don't cut your brow cup with it. Cut by the edge. Here we are. You can see how beautiful it looks and it's all. Next thing is to remove all this uh, pin. Then you go ahead and join your lining to the upper parts of this uh, cup. This is it. Our this is our drape uh, cup. So the next thing we have to do is to attach the the lining. This is the lining we have made initially. So what we do now is to place it, we place it this way on our, on this one. You place this on it. So we use pin to hold it down. This is the hop. That is for the upper part, upper part of our cup. That's where we want to hold down with our office pin now because it is this upper part we want to join together with the with the line now. So I want to go and join this part with just quarter, quarter of an inch, the whole part of a bracket. Let me do that. So now we have joined our lining to the upper part of this uh, of the cup. Then we top stitch it. We have top stitch it. So the next thing to do is to now pushing pushing this uh, top stitch because this is the way we want the cup to look and to achieve that what you do is that you push this cup you push it in like this to the line before you now begin to secure it with your pin and the essence of doing that is that so that by the time you join it stitch it together you the um this top this part will not be this way it will enter and the you know, this uh, lining will be able to accommodate your breast so that the lining will not lay flat on it. I mean, the effect of the cup will be obvious. So, all we have to do now is to secure the lining to the cup with our office pin.
is it so the next thing i will do now is to go and run a stitch even to join the lining and the cup together just this way we have torn our lining inside and the, we have joined it together with the damp part of the cup of the brow cup so the next thing is to trim the excess so uh, as you are joining the cup and the lining together you you are you are good to hug your hem gum so that it will help it to stay very well now this is the bodies for our drape corsets we have joined this is the front part while this is the back i've joined the center i mean the darts i've, I've joined the two darts with half an inch this is the front uh, i mean this is the main fabric this is the li line under it so for this uh, for this video I mean, for because of the material we use, you know, this is crepe material, it's stretches and uh, a little bit thicker. That is why we didn't bother to add any uh, stay, so so that it will still maintain the stretchy effect. And uh, it's a dropped material. We want it to be to be dropping as it is. So for the for this, we have joined the line and um, the that with half an inch for the front I mean, for the main fabric I top stitch so this is the lining this is the lining for the lining I joined the I joined the darts this is the darts this is the back darts I join it the back darts so after joining all your all the darts both front and back that's everything so the next thing you have to do is to join the upper part of the front skirt together join the upper part of the back cut together i mean the lining and the fabric you join it together you top stitch top stitch then the next thing is that you hold the lining and the fabric of the front cut for this cup area where you want to you know join your cup you just hold it down stitch it down together then you now come to the side then you join the side with half an inch i mean with one inch so you i open it and iron it very well then you iron it up here so that everything will be aligned ensure that everything is aligned up here so next thing is to Go and join our cup. This is the wrong side. So this is the front side that I've tossed or a top stitch. So make sure you have something you are, you know, using to note it because we are using the same fabric. And the, for this uh, lining now, this is where I'm going to be inserting my uh, bony. I'll be inserting the bony on the lining. So, and to achieve that, what I do is that I measure, this is the center. I will be joining one bony for the center front, then the darts, the two darts in the front, the bony will be inserted to it. And I'll be inserting bony at the back of that as well. Um, for the bony, I'll be using this uh, regiline bone. You can sew on it. So, what I do is that for the center, to I mean to insert the bony to put the bony for the center. I measure what we are having here. We are having seven inches A. So this seven inches I will reduce the the bony. I will reduce it by half half an inch. That is what will be used to join the skirt under it. So which means I will have to cut out six and a half for this center bony. I cut out six and a half. So I will iron it. I will iron this uh, bonnet to give me the straight, uh, you know, concept. So for the for the side, what we are having here, we have uh, five and a half here. So that five and a half, I will reduce it by one. 
I will you have for the damp parts and half for the hot part so that because this uh, hot part will fall under the bust so that it will not be poking under the bust. So the bony we are having we have four and a half. So this is what I'll be using. And the way I'm going to do it, so this your bony, you are good to file it so that it will not be poking or you conceal with uh, conceal it with a uh, masking tape. So then, this is the wrong side. I'm inserting it on the on the line. So for this very, you know, video, I, at times we can place our bony in the on the main fabric. For for this one, I'm inserting. So you just what you do is that you just insert it. My the bone I'm using is like half an inch. We have different uh, sizes of bone. This one is half an inch you can see so and that half inch that I use as my dart I'll just insert it just this way so this is it so, and you know I told you that uh, you can sew on this uh, bony so what I'll do is that as it is inside the the dart I will sew on it like that. I will sew, I will first of all sew on it this side and I will still sew on it this side. So that's it. So for the center bony, this one after ironing it, I will, you know, from an inside of the lining, I will place it just this way, you know, and sew direct. I will sew direct on it. I will sew on it direct. So this is the way that is after ironing it. It will straight after ironing it. Just this way. This is the way it's going to be placed. I will sew on it. So that's for the bony for the so you do the same thing for the back. This is the lining for the back. You cut out what you are you measure what you are having here, reduce it. We have seven, you reduce it by a uh, one. At the back, okay. I mean by half. So, so as this one, you insert it to the back, a uh, uh, dart, just the way you do for the front dart. Just this way. Yeah. So for the on the line. So that is for the bony. So now the next thing is to move on to our. Corset. So for this corset, the next thing we have to do is to mind you, this is the way it's going to. This is it. This is the way it's going to be. So what you do is that you you join it with quarter of an inch. Place it this way. Then you join it with quarter. Go around. Just this way to this end. You join it with cutter. So after joining it with cutter, after it has been joined together, you now use your bias. You use your bias. You you join your bias on it. You I mean you pipe it with your bias. You sew on it this way. Then you turn it. You turn your bias on it because after joining it together. The joining will be facing down. So you use your you know bias to conceal it. I mean to secure it. So it is inside this bias that you are going to insert your your bony. This is the way the under the the lower you can see that one side is lower than one. The lower side will be um in the front center front. So that's where the lower part will be. So you insert it. You insert the underwire inside the bias that you have uh, joined to your to the join. So let me just join here now before we now insert our underwire. So now the I've piped the under of a 
cosset I mean the uh, under bust area. So I didn't use a bias. I later use a strap of uh, the fabric. I cut out one quarter wideness and um, with about uh, 15 to 16 inches. The one that will just be enough for your piping, but it's by one quarter because I later realized that uh, bias the wideness cannot be enough for me to achieve what I need. So the next thing to do now is to insert our underwire. You know, this is for this side. I've only done this. So to insert our underwire now. So this is the underwire. You can see that this is the lower part. This is the way it's going to place. This one is for this. Why this is for this side. And to do that, I will just that piping that I've done under my bra core. I will just insert it inside it just this way. Just get the hole. Just insert this way. I've inserted it so you can just stitch around this side just stitch it ensure that I mean that hole that you use and insert it stitch it up so that it won't be able to come out through that uh, panel I mean the tunnel so you can see the one I've uh, inserted the uh, underwire as it has risen up so by the time we do the same thing for this core this is the way it will look so I will just go and do that and then our beautiful drape corset will be ready. You can see how this uh, uh, corset, I mean draped corset look uh, looks beautiful. So the bony has been fixed on the lining. You can see this is the back we, the bone has been fixed inside. This is the front view. This is the center front, and the that all the bone has been inserted to all this. For this center front, I saw the boning on the line direct. But for the for the that side, I inserted all those uh, boning, and the the underwire has been fixed. It has been inserted inside the the cup. You can see how beautiful and perfect it looks. This is the wrong side, Why this is the front side. So beautiful. Thanks for watching. Like, drop your comments on the comment section and subscribe to this channel. Thank you. See you next time.